What's in my backpack? Ooh, what could it be? <laughs> so, hello, my name is Kian. I am a first year medical student, and today I'm going to be telling you what is in my backpack as well as what apps are on my phone. So, let's get started. This backpack, by the way, I love. All Canadian medical students have the same backpack. It was free, which makes it even more amazing, but it has so much space and so many pockets, which makes me very happy. So I'll just preface this by saying that I don't take all this stuff to school every day. This is more what's in my backpack if I'm heading out to study. For school, I just bring my iPad, my iPad pencil, my bullet journal, and a pen. Not that interesting, but if I'm heading somewhere to study, I sort of pull out all the stops. So first off is my laptop. I have the MacBook Pro 13 inch, and I like to use my laptop to sort of re-watch lectures, watch videos, and I also find it a little easier than the iPad for doing research or searching things on the internet. Next are my notebooks. Next is my bag of charging cords. I just keep everything together. Um, luckily there's a lot of plugins at school, but if you're using a computer or an iPad all day, you tend to sort of run low on battery by the last lecture. Next is my pencil case. It's full of colorful paper mate pens. I love colors. I'm a very visual person, so this is really great for writing out my review notes. Next up are my headphones. I have wireless headphones as well, but I really like these if you're in like a noisy cafe setting. I find they're a little bit better for canceling out the noise. As well, these ones you don't have to recharge, so if my wireless ones are charging, I can use these. Moving on to the next pocket. I have my iPad and my iPad pencil, which I did a whole video about. I will put the link in the description if you're curious about taking notes on the iPad. That's sort of what I use in lecture. Next up, I have my whiteboard. I also have a ton of whiteboard markers. If you haven't noticed, I really love colorful things. So I am sort of a visual learner and I also really like to rewrite things and understand concepts. So the whiteboard is perfect for that and it saves on wasting paper. Next up, I have my bullet journal. So this is basically like a homemade planner. Um, so it's great for sort of scheduling out my weeks and writing out things I have to do, as well as just sort of miscellaneous notes. So that's the bullet journal. I also take my wallet with me to pay for all my lattes. And I always bring a water bottle because it's so important to stay nice and hydrated. I also wanted to mention eight amazing apps that I have on my phone and iPad that I've been using. They have been super, super helpful. They are called Be Focused, Flora, the UBC Radiology app, Spectrum, Notability, the Anatomy app, and then Up to Date and BMJ Best Practice. Be Focus uses the Pomodoro method, which is 25 minutes of work, five minute break. It is perfect for long days of studying because it enforces breaks. And for me personally, it really reduces my brain fatigue. If you're addicted to your phone like me, Flora is an amazing app. It is free and it grows a plant for 25 minutes. And if you pick up your phone while the plant is trying to grow, it dies. The UBC radiology app is amazing for anyone trying to learn radiology. It has case studies, it has quizzes, it's basically a huge, huge collection of different x-rays, CT scans, and it really, really, really helps you understand that anatomy. Radiology, I find really, really hard. They'll be in lecture and be like, do you see the abnormal structure? And I'm like, no. Spectrum is an app all about antibiotic drugs. It's location specific, has lots and lots of information. It's just an amazing app. I haven't used it a ton yet because I'm not really in the hospital or dealing with antibiotics, but I think it will be so helpful for my future rotations in the hospital. Notability is an amazing note-taking app. I use it for my iPad and iPad pencil. If you want to know more, check out my video. I did like a whole whole shebang on like how amazing Notability is and how I utilize it. 
up to date and BMJ best practice are two databases. They are super, super great for quick information. So they synthesize a lot of current literature and they tell you sort of a snapshot about a disease, a disease process, how you diagnose it, how you treat it, as well as sort of basic definitions. So a lot of times in medicine, we have a weird word and we're like, what is that? So empyema perhaps, which is like pus in the lungs. You can look it up and up to date will just give you like a really, really nice condensed summary. And it has all sort of like the literature resources if you want to learn more. BMJ best practice is very similar. In my experience, I find it um, just a bit more condensed, which is nice if you need like really quick information and you're not too interested in the background or you already know the background, you just need a refresher of what you're looking for. There's lots of anatomy apps out there. Um, if you know of any amazing ones, comment below. I would be curious to know. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. So yeah, it's super great for sort of looking at things in 3D and sort of dissecting from superficial to deep. So really great anatomy review. Alrighty, that is all for this week. I'm currently working on a vlog. It's the midterm countdown vlog. So yes, I'm very scared. I have stress acne. Anyways, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button icon so you don't miss that video and so many other med school life videos. I'm just taking you on this journey, having the time of my life. Um, yeah, so it'd be amazing if you join me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.